welcome back friends welcome to another video lecture from Shomu's biology and in this video tutorial we'll be talking about the difference between the protein synthesis process in prokaryotic cell and in eukaryotic cell so before that we must know about what is translation and I hope you all know about this translation is when the mRNA is coded into proteins because you know DNA uh, which is uh, containing all our informations in between. Now the DNA is converted into mRNA uh, by the process called transcription and after the transcription mRNA contains all the information that DNA poses right. Now mRNA is messenger RNA because it's a messenger from the DNA it carries all the information for protein coding. Now there are three nucleotide bases of mRNA each three bases code for a single amino acid and amino acids are the building blocks of proteins so once we have multiple such amino acids tied together we can make a polypeptide chain which in turn is a protein now how you make the polypeptide chain by reading the mRNA template how you read this using a cell organelle known as ribosome and ribosome is not kept like in this case the ribosome that we talked about is found in both prokaryote as well as in eukaryotes. Ribosome attaches to the mRNA and read through the mRNA template, mRNA codon segment and for each codon they will bring specific amino acids together and join them to make polypeptide chain. That is the translation process. Now this translation is different in prokaryotes as in, proka in eukaryotes what are the major differences the first thing there are multiple similarities in prokaryotic and eukaryotic translation so when you talk about translation we kind of talk about in a general sense of what translation is because both the translation process works in the cytoplasm it should not work in the nucleus in eukaryote it works in the cytosol and both the case they need ribosome exactly to be attached to the mRNA and read that codons of the mRNA this whole process is the same now the difference lies in somewhat in other side of this whole process for example the ribosome that used by the prokaryote is known as 70s ribosome okay but the ribosome used by eukaryote are 80s ribosome that is the first difference i can tell you 80s ribosome and in prokaryotes 70s ribosome both the ribosomes have two subunits the 70s ribosome have a 50s subunit and a 30s subunit uh, while eukaryotes arrival eukaryotic ribosome has two subunits one 60s one 40s this s means the Wedberg unit to measure uh, their density out there okay and how uh, the molecular weight depending upon how they sediment and there's a sediment sedimentation coefficient mainly uh, depending upon if you spin them uh, when and how they are sedimenting that depending upon that we count that now in this case of prokaryotes this is the first difference I tell you but mostly the structure of ribosome are almost kind of the similar but the rRNA which are the constituent of the structure of the ribosome rRNA and some proteins now those rRNA that are found in prokaryotes are different than the RNA found in the eukaryote that is the first line of difference the second difference we can say is the process of translation is coupled with transcription in case of prokaryotes that means let's say here this is the black thing is the DNA double stranded DNA and red is the RNA which is being produced transcription is going on while the transcription is going on ribosomes can attach to the newly forming RNA and it can translate that into polypeptide which are blue color here so the process of transcription and translation occurs simultaneously in prokaryotes but in eukaryote this is not the case in eukaryote you first need to make the RNA they first make the RNA and then that RNA is taken into the cytosol and then in the cytosol they will be converted into protein they will be coded into proteins so no simultaneous process so this is the second difference between there the third difference is the process of translation is polycystronic in prokaryote that means if you look at the mRNA of prokaryote these are the structural genes which we want to code into proteins okay gene X Y Z we need to make proteins out of it now multiple genes can be under the control and regulation of one sim single promoter 
So one promoter controlling multiple gene expression. Poly means multiple cystronic expression. In eukaryote, gene X is control of promoter 1, gene Y is a control of promoter 2, gene Z is a control of promoter 3. So that means for a specific gene, a single gene, one single promoter. So multiple genes should not be expressed under a promoter. Only one gene under one promoter. Known as mono means single cystronic, monocystronic expression of the DNA, uh, of the of the gene and, and then finally the proteins. The third difference we talked about. Now if you talk about uh, the other sites, like the, in prokaryotes, the initiation phase of translation or the protein synthesis. At the initiation phase of protein synthesis, the first amino acid that bought to the place is formylated methionine. That is the methionine because you know the first uh, start sequence, the start codon for prokaryote is AUG, for eukaryote also AUG. That is why I have told that they have multiple rounds of similarities as well. Start codon AUG for, for both sides and AUG uh, the anticodon whatever uh, the anticodon is, you know the anticodon should be UAC. This anticodon codes for methionine, okay. But the methionine in prokaryotes, the methionine amino acid, the first amino acid uh, is attached, is modified by attaching a formylated group, a formaldehyde group in the methionine. So it's called it formylated methionine. But the first amino acid bought in eukaryotic, they also have the same anticodon, UAC. It codes for only methionine, no modification of methionine is entertained here, only methionine amino acid is brought. This is the third, fourth difference probably I told you. And you know in eukaryotes there could be multiple methionine added in the first few amino acid stretches. Now after the translation is made, the polypeptide chain is produced, this F mate, this first amino acid is deleted it's cleaved out before the protein packaging. It is only required for the initiation of protein synthesis, that's why they use it. In eukaryotes, if we use multiple methionine, all those methionines will be added. It's not the first one, but once they have multiple methionines, all of those methionines will be cleaved out in eukaryotes, okay. Now again in the initiation phase, we need different factors, protein factors playing important roles in translation process, both in prokaryotes and in eukaryotes. You know, in prokaryotes, we have multiple like uh, say three different initiation factors required at the start of the prokaryotes. Initiation factor 1, 2 and 3. While in eukaryotes, we need nine such initiation factors to begin with because it's much more complicated, it's a little bit more complicated here. The sixth difference. If, if you count the number of differences here, about the termination, the end point of the translation process. The termination process in prokaryote is not simpler. They require three different release factor, release factor 1, 2 and 3 for the release and reassembly and remove of all those things like RNA, ribosomal subunits, everything. Dissociation requires three separate release factors. But in eukaryotes, there is only one release factor and that is known as ERF1, okay. But in prokaryotes, RF1, RF2 and RRF, ribosome recycling factor, these are the three things we require for the termination. Okay, seventh I think, uh, now the eighth difference if I can say, uh, I am not counting actually. Uh, in this case, uh, the eighth difference is about the time taken for all this process in prokaryote as well as in eukaryotes. Uh, the total time required for the prokaryotic um, mRNA to be translated is less because 20 amino acids, 20 amino acids are coded every single second in prokaryotes, while in eukaryotes only one amino acid coded per second. So eukaryotic translation is very slow while prokaryotic translation is very, very fast. Another difference we can also say after the translation, there are several modifications of the protein mediated for the eukaryotes known as post-translational modifications, which is not that common in prokaryotes. 
in eukaryotes there are modifications but in prokaryotes there are no modifications done okay so post translation modification or ptm is a eukaryotic thing it's not the prokaryotic thing okay so that is the difference between the translation or protein synthesis in prokaryotes and in eukaryotes so hope this video helps you if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel to go to see more videos like that and definitely share this video thank you